Hey everyone, hope everything is going well. I wanted to do this video and I understand some people are going to unfollow me and get mad at me, but I don't care. I lost about eight or seven to eight Instagram followers initially when I did a reel on, hey, look, Jason Whitlock, Kevin Durant, Kwame Brown are talking this week about LeBron James allegedly using PEDs and steroids. And I want to discuss this because, look, you had the folks like Gary V telling people about LeBron James, and a lot of people are underwater in LeBron James cards. So, you know, I got some DMs, and basically I was trying to ask them, like, why are people so passionate about this issue? Why... Why would it cost someone to unfollow me on Instagram? And I get it. Some people will unfollow me on YouTube because of this topic. But, you know, this channel is not confirmation bias. And I don't pander to my audience. Even though, you know, you may like most of my videos, I'm going to say things that people don't like. And once again, it's not about followers. It's about me speaking my mind to the best of my ability. Anyways, I wanted to discuss Gus, this over here, and this is on Jason Whitlock's channel, and take a look at this. LeBron James is in some big trouble. Big trouble. He doesn't see it yet. His handlers are trying to put out fires. But eventually, LeBron James, his handlers, the, the, the LeBron groupies are going to have to deal with what Kevin Garnett did to LeBron James. Kevin Garnett, in a podcast interview, I think we got the clip, right? Don't we got KG? Yeah. Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce speculating about LeBron James uh, using steroids. Let's play the clip. Uh, Ron, get a uh, bucket on Brown right now? Yeah, he can get a bucket on no Brown right nope. now. Nope. Yeah, he can get a bucket. No way. Nope. Now he can get a bucket on Brown the average right twenty five. No, I didn't say he ain't. I don't care what he's doing, but he ain't sliding playing at that See, defensive level. Twenty five. Like, nah, nah, Lord, twenty five. You still, Lord, he dunking. He's still dunking the ball with. I'm saying that Bronny can get a bucket on Bron. I'm saying he can't. One rollout, get a bucket. Three dribbles, no way. You, I'm yeah, talking about get a bucket on. No, 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 no. Man, he, man, come on, that little dude, explosive, bro. He is, he but he's that, that on that back yeah, court. He on he that new he ain't that sliding coming. like he used to, man, bro. <laughs> His dad is on that Balco. He's on that new juice. Now, there is a lot to unpack here. I I, I want to do it carefully. I want to do Hey, you heard Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett is not some tinfoil hat person like Alex Jones. Is not some tinfoil hat person like AIH Sports. That's what they call me, a conspiracy theorist. Day in and day out. This is Kevin Garnett, a guy who dominated the NBA and has a few titles on his resume as well. If I were LeBron James, I'd be going to my attorneys and be like, yo, you got to shut up. You have to provide you have to explain why you're saying these type of things. Just as if someone, some big channel came, or not came, they did a video on me saying that I'm show bidding and I'm trimming cards. That's pretty much, you know, defamation level. Now, there are some small channels that, you know, run their mouth. I'm like, whatever, they're small channels. Okay, they're not going to make too much noise but if it's the bigger channel saying i'm trimming cards i'm shill bidding here's a problem there all right let's take a look at chal sonan uh he is a former ufc fighter he has been on the juice and has accused people of the juice 
order. But they they got some performance since answers. Like if the world understood what LeBron did, like other basketball players will hear what LeBron does and go, well, well, yeah, but that doesn't matter, right? You're it's like a baseball player and you're hitting a stick out of the way. It doesn't matter. It's like no, no, no. If you knew what these performance answers did, then you would know why it does matter. What you do know, you think there's only doing? one. Go- we have, we have the same drug guy. If you, I know exactly what he's doing. The big three is EPO, growth hormone, testosterone. That's the Lance Armstrong diet. People will say it all the time. It doesn't matter. John Daly, one of these. It, it matters. Trust me that it matters. EPO matters. It's the reason LeBron takes it. It matters. Hmm. And if other basketball is understood what it do? did, EPO increases your red blood cells, which gives you endurance so you can play all game long. You can shoot in the fourth more quarter red just like you shot oxygen the fourth in your red blood yes. cells. Okay, yes. gotcha. gotcha. It, it's the king of performance enhancers. So you would prefer that, especially in a fight sport, to anything else. EPO is king. Because it's going to give you the stamina. Yes. Order. But there. All right. You saw, you saw him say that. And I covered this a while back. You know, people said this is crazy. Uh, now, we could look at Kwame Brown, LeBron James, PED, and he's done a few videos on this. All right. I'm. Uh, you just take a look at some of what he had to say about LeBron James. And, uh, you know, while I'm getting the video started here, it's just quite interesting that with LeBron James, his rookie card, there's so many altered, if you go on blowout forums, there's so many altered and damaged cards out there. And... Even if you want to include the LeBron James RPA exquisite 44 out of 99, which is the uh, card porn photoshopped one. So that's just quite interesting. Now, let's try to go to what um, Kwame Brown had to say. And I find this clip really interesting. Let's uh, take a look at this right now. who was hot for steroids himself. He's a person that has become like a whistleblower for others who use steroids. And this dude's record is almost impeccable when he calls people out for using steroids. Okay, they swept that under the rug. Now, you have Kevin Garnett. One of the best power forwards to ever play this game. And in a in a conversation between him and Paul Pierce, he was very open. He was very candid. He was he didn't shy away. He said it like everybody knew this shit. Now I don't know, but Kevin Garnett said it like everybody knows this already. He said, LeBron James is on that new shit. He on that Falco. Now, I said, wait a minute, what does he mean? What does he mean he on that new stuff, Falco? I thought Falco had been around for years. Falco had been around since Barry Bonds. And maybe even before that. But this man was able to say on on on, on open airways, Kevin Garnett, that LeBron James is on that new juice so his son couldn't do nothing against him. Because he's on that new juice. These are the words from Hall of Famer, NBA champion, Kevin Garnett. You could go listen to the clip yourself and this video. And I find uh, Kwame Brown's just talking points quite interesting. And he doesn't go along with the uh, go along gang. That's what he says. So I, I listen to him from time to time. I'm not, I don't listen to basketball too much. Or I don't watch basketball too much, but I always like listening to his takes. So these are just a bunch of people, you know, Dal Sonnen, now Kevin Garnett. And you don't see any uh, legal action by LeBron James. I find that really strange at that level. And especially from people like that for a serious allegation, that's when attorneys would most likely get involved. I mean, you saw Roger Clemens. You saw all these athletes during that time, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa. 
none of them got lawyers. And I remember the same type of thing was going on about 20 years ago. I told some people that I went to high school with, and I told them that, hey, look, uh, Roger Clemens most likely used steroids. And they said that I was gullible for listening to these sort of tinfoil hat theories. But it was true. I mean, Jose Canseco was absolutely correct. As much of a jerk Jose Canseco is, he snitched on Mark McGuire, but he was correct. And you could see it in Sammy Sosa. He got really skinny when he was with the Baltimore Orioles in 2005. But I just wanted to go back to like cards in general. Do you think it will impact LeBron James' cards? I mean, look at Roger Clemens' cards. Like, yeah, people will still buy it, but it's not to the level where it should be. Barry Bonds, he's not having, he's not selling that much for those cards. And I just wonder, is LeBron James, will people just look the other way because he is protected by the establishment? That's just the reality. So nothing may happen. Barry Bonds rubbed the media the wrong way, so they came after him. But LeBron James, for instance, you know, the media looks the other way for obvious reasons. So this could just be a nothing burger, even if he did anything. Now, would this mean that, suppose LeBron did use th these PEDs, are Kobe cards now going to be priced substantially higher? We shall see. I wanted to hear your thoughts on this. I get it. Some people will unfollow me, but this channel is not about confirmation bias. It's about you know, asking questions that the mainstream establishment won't ask. ESPN won't dive into it. Why won't they? Because they show NBA games. That's just the reality of the situation. And the NBA, they're going to look the other way. Let me know and I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.